Well, back home now, and economists are tipping the unemployment rate could rise much higher than expected and hit 7% by the end of the year. There was a huge fall in the number of job advertisements last month, and analysts are warning that demand for labour is now at recession levels. When it comes to unemployment, it seems the only way is up. Demand for new workers is at a historic low. In December, the number of job advertisements dropped nearly 10%, the eighth fall in a row. In the year to December, the number of ads plunged almost 30%. Economists say the figures are much worse than expected and unemployment could be as high as 7% by the end of the year. I wouldn't suggest that anything uh, below 7% is out of the question at, at the moment. We're really seeing the labour market take a big hit at the moment from the global financial, financial crisis and the slowdown that's underway in business activity at the moment. With unemployment rising, the man who sets the minimum wage says this year's ruling will be his most difficult. He suggested that any increase announced in July will be small. He says if we put the minimum wage up too high, that can induce employers to sack people. But he also warns that people will go on the dole if the minimum wage is set too low. The ACTU says the living standards of the lowest paid must be protected. We don't think that the global financial crisis is an excuse for there to be no increase in minimum wages. In fact, we think that may be counterproductive. Business has welcomed Professor Harper's cautious approach. It says those on low pay have received record wage increases in recent years. The people who are most vulnerable are the people who are employing the low paid workers because they are being buffeted by an economic downturn of the likes of which many have never seen in business before. The unemployment rate is expected to rise when official figures for December are released on Thursday. Business says the government must now consider introducing another economic stimulus package. It's deeply worried about recent developments here and overseas. It's concerned about the deeper than expected US recession and falling demand in China. All of that is pointing to the need for further measures in Australia. But economists say there's little the government can do to protect workers from the impact of a global recession. Richard Davis, World News, Australia.